Moving on, moving on, moving on. We have an interesting um, interview clip here from the No Jumper hosted by Adam22 where he interviewed Black China. This is a clip from Complex Ambition, so big up those guys. I follow them on YouTube. They have probably one of the best... Um, you know, music reaction channels out there. They're very passionate about the thing. They sometimes get some celebrity guests to pop in. Like the interview that they had in the back seat with Trippy Red was a legendary moment considering how much they care about his music. And it was also good to see Trippy Red be such a good sport when it comes to talking to those guys. So definitely check out Complex Ambition if you haven't on YouTube and on any other platform that they may be on. But I also follow them on Twitter. They do a good job of kind of, you know, um, aggregating and putting together some of the news concerning hip hop stuff that's going on. So, uh, Black China sat down with Adam22 and the interview got a bit tetchy, so much so that she decided to walk out. And um, I have to be honest, I am somewhat in agreement with her. Now, again, I haven't seen the full interview. Um, I've not watched the entire thing. But being a big fan of No Jumper, being a big fan even of Adam22 and what he's basically done with that um, entire platform, it is quite concerning to see where he's kind of like perched upon like he's sort of like in a weird precarious position it sort of feels like to me that he hasn't decided whether he's a shock jock or whether he's a legitimate hip-hop interviewer and in my experience or from my um what i would like to see from the guy because i think he's a really valuable voice in hip-hop i think what he's done for the young kids coming up just providing a platform in general that you know just providing a platform where the lil, the lils of this world, um, the youngs of this world, and all the other coloured haired, um, you know, um, bedazzled denim wearing rappers can go and speak has been has been amazing, right? He deserves props for that, regardless, right? That uh, XXX Tentacion interview will go down in history. He's had some epic moments on that, you know, from flipping what's his face from um, what's his name. John Gabbana nodding off numerous times to the countless salacious, you know, exposés from, you know, what's her name, Selena Powell and those were like, she's had some legendary moments on there, but more importantly, he's provided a platform for young up and coming hip hop artists to say their piece and to essentially, you know, um, create a bit of a time capsule for them in, in terms of their career, right? Especially when you look back at some of the previous episodes, you see a more, you know, chunkier version of Adam 22 in a more dilapidated setting, talking to these rappers with one camera and then you see where they sort of evolved to now it's quite nice to see what's happening but obviously because i don't know what's happened i guess maybe he just wants to take these platforms to the next level he seems to be um kind of purposely courting controversy or just purposely put himself in positions that are not necessarily beneficial to his long-term prospects you know one of those um positions might have effectively given deciding to give Selena Power a show on his platform considering how reckless she is with uh the names of the people that she allegedly deals with and what that might do in general considering you know you know hip-hop is a small industry like any subculture right most of the most of the women in that subculture get passed around by lack of a, de a better term you know more often than not so probably a lot of women in that industry or in that scene in general hold a lot of the secrets of the scene but in general they sort of keep their cards close to their chest they keep the gossip between their friends or you know they just don't tell anyone right they're all adults and they continue doing their thing but for um Selena Power to get up on this platform and essentially out some of the more prominent people who sometimes have some deeper connections to the industry that you're in than you actually realize, I'd imagine, especially when you look at someone like an OBJ, right? There are probably some people like effectively having a Selena Power on there and having her say what happened with her and OBJ or, no, not her. Um, what, what's his face? Uh, what's his name? Ba, 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 ba. What's his name? Chief Keith's baby mother, right? Having her on there saying what she said about OBJ and whatever it may be, allegedly what happened between them, you would be lead you it would be easy to assume that OBJ being a big of a star and athlete that he is at the moment, that he probably has that's probably gonna upset a lot more people than Adam Twenty Two would have probably realized. And he's probably going to close a lot more doors in the future than he probably realized. And of course, he's got his own issues to deal with too. Those other prior allegations that are always hanging over his head. So I just kind of would imagine, especially being a, a fan of his, I would just hope that he would be acknowledging, especially being in media, right? He'd know that there are people out there who are kind of hoping that he fucks up so that they can bury him and cancel him. So anything that he does that's kind of out of step, that sort of, um, you know, that can get sort of pulled up, people are going to make a, you know, turn a mountain into moho. And this might be a good example 
example of it, right? So he sits down with Black China, and I guess the interview gets really awkward, and she decides to walk out. And again, I don't have a, in- a problem with people walking out of interviews. I, I think more artists should do that. I think we've, you know, we've been subjected to too many interviews with hip hop artists that clearly don't want to be at an interview. I'd much rather they just get up and say, "Hey, I don't want to do this." Do you know what I mean? You get you get the benefit of it being viral, and also the, the hip hop artist gets continue going on about their day. And obviously, you know, for the person that's doing the interview, you know, you get some epic content that you can obviously spread across your social medias as Adam 22 has probably done with this clip. But let's play a little bit of it now. Mm-hmm. Are you open to OnlyFans collaborations or any, like, do you do anything with other people on there? No. Nah. I had Safari's OnlyFans. I feel like you guys could definitely do a dope collab. You what? That's what probably set it off wrong, right? And I guess, and again, just, just to be safe to him as well, to be fair, Black China, from what I've seen, reading the comments from Shade Room regarding her reality TV show, or some other, I don't know where I was on, I don't know where I was reading it, but from what I've seen of the girls that watch her show, she's not the most entertaining of individuals, right? She's quite chill, quite mellow, probably the opposite of what her kind of physical um, form looks like, right? She probably looks probably like she'd be a little bit more louder than what she is, but she's pretty mellow, pretty, you know, even killed. Um, some would say boring. Some would say she has a personality of a cardboard door or something right but um she's not the best interviewer i would say in that regard unless she probably i I guess she's not the best interviewer unless she's on a really big platform let's just say that right she's on the hot 97 she's on a breakfast club she's obviously going to shout out a little bit more because she knows what that can do for her career but maybe sitting down with m22 was a little bit of a like ugh. I mean, it's lockdown. We've got nothing to do. Let's get some free promo out there. Let's just go and sit down with this guy, right? She probably doesn't even know who he is in that regard. So that's why she's bringing this energy. So I can understand it. But again, is there some history between her and Safari that we don't know about? Probably. I'm not too sure. But it's probably your job of an interview if you sent somebody getting a bit off put in by the question that you asked to be like, hey, I'm not trying to put some drama out there. I just thought because he's a content creator out there that you guys would be good for a collab. If that's something you don't want to talk about, we can just move on to the next topic. And she's like, yeah, cool, move on. But I guess the way that he kind of was smirking and giggling about it, and he obviously, you know, being the guy that he is and being smart and being aware of social media, he was aware this was going to go, this was turning into a train wreck. So maybe he was just driving it, you know, straight into a wall. But God almighty, man, this got awkward really quickly. Safari, he's killing it on OnlyFans. Right, he's married. Right, but you know, you know, you know, no, that's hook weird. Up. You can don't just play with see? Like post that. up and just look cool together, no, just right? Don't, like, don't <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, oh, no, 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 no. I don't think, I'm not suggesting yeah, anything that she don't. would. See? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, if you're going to be about that shock jock life, right? This is the problem as well. Because look at Charlemagne. Charlemagne pivoted away from that. Char- Charlemagne was a piece of shit prior, right? To um, this um, mental health and uh, black men don't cheat and black business thing that he's doing at the moment, right? He was a piece of shit. Especially you see the way that he treated um, Logic in the beginning, the way he treated Post Malone, the way he treated countless females that went on that show. Unless you were like a scary trap rapper, right? He didn't really give you any respect and he was always kind of, you know, aiming for the lowest kind of form of humour to just looking for a viral moment. And of course he pivoted on that and used it as a platform to sort of boost his profile and do what he thinks he's doing. So bravo to him. But I don't think that thing is going to run nowadays. It just isn't. And unfortunately as well, optics wise for Adam 22 being a white guy, it just doesn't come across well. You just can't do that. You have to either be a serious interviewer or just be Nardwa. You can't be shock shock guy in hip hop because I guess in America, especially, they always view white people in hip hop as a guest, right? You always kind of, uh, people that they sort of, white people are sort of like tolerated in hip-hop right you sort of kind of have to go a long way to kind of earn the respect of some prominent hip-hop artists in uh in america for the most part so when you start trolling or when you start insinuating things or just being cheeky or having this sort of like dry humor with some artists they're just never going to accept it because they always look at you as they look they kind of look at you as the op right that's basically what they look at you as <laughs> like, don't be disrespectful <laughs> okay fine <laughs> um have you spoken to soldier boy recently no you no, <laughs> look, actually, sure, look at look at her. She switched. Okay. <laughs> so you guys had like a thing about a year ago. Or did you ever consider doing music with him? Look, look. Okay, guess what? <laughs> yeah. What? I'm out. You're out. <laughs> the soldier boy question. No, it's just like you keep like being weird. Yeah, exactly. So I imagine the questions before that were weird too. But to be fair to Adam22 as well, again, not to be rude to Black China, but what questions can you ask her of any sort of merit really, right? I guess she's pursuing a musical career, I guess. Um, it's probably just another avenue for her to kind of, you know, it's probably another revenue stream. It's probably not something, again, she, can you assume that? 
It's not fair to assume she's not taken seriously. Again, everyone has a right to do whatever they want to have to do. He has a right to ask his questions. She has a right to be offended. It is what it is. But you know, this is what the people want to hear about. You know? Nah, but it's just weird. I'm out. All right. I, I agree with her. <laughs> Damn. Appreciate you, Black China. That was a bit cuck at the end, didn't I? Appreciate you. Come on. Like, allow that. So, yeah, that's the thing I have an issue with a little bit, man. Again, I'm a, I'm a fan of Adam 22, but I feel like he's trying way too hard to be um, a shock jock, to be controversial, to get viral moments. And it's coming across really yucky. That's the thing. It's really ruining his product. My opinion only. Again, what do I know?